Okay, hello everyone. Thanks for joining our Learn AutoCAD Plan 3D in minutes. And for today's topic, we are going to focus on how to create ISO in Plan 3D. So let's go straight away to our objective. So to create an isometric in Plan 3D, so the first thing that we need to know or we need to do is we need to have the piping. Okay, the second thing is about all item in your pipe, you need to have the S key. So if you want to check the S key for each component, so this S key will represent to the ISO symbols. So in this case, normally the S key will be two wording with related to the object. Okay, for example, VB is for valve, ball valve, okay, while FL is a random text. Okay, you can insert as a numbers or you want to insert as a letter alphabet also can be done. So in this case, every object in your component, in your piping system, you need to have the S key. If not, you are unable to create the isometric. So for example, I want to delete the S key. So if I create the isometric throughout this model, so what will happen, it will split into three different rowing. Okay, for example, I try to select everything here. So, and then I go to the ISO tab, go to the quick ISO. So over here, you can click create. So the software will help you to generate the isometric. You just need to wait for a while until you will see this uh, one pop up, something like this. So just hit OK. So over here, they will have two drawings. The first drawing will be this one, stop until here. Okay, start with the flanges. Okay, and then the second drawing, if you want to reopen back the, the pop-up, just click again. So this will be the second one, will be this one. Okay, while well for the second drawing, or also start with the flanges. Okay, the reason why, because of the buff, I just remove the S key. So that means every component that you want to create isometric drawing, the most important things that you need to have is the S key. Okay, so the most proper way is by using your spec editor. So in this case, if I already want to insert the piping again, so if, for example, I want to go back to here and then insert the S key, just can use this method. So I can go to these properties, type in S key, so just look for the ISO, ISO S key. So for example, over here will be in here. So content ISO symbol. So you just need to type S key is equal to VB for ball valve. FL, these two words, you can put any word, comma, type is equal to valve. Okay, then it will appear as normal ball valve symbol for isometric so just redo it again just hit okay and then you will see that the isometric will be in one pages okay so while waiting for this item i will like to explain about the quick iso and production iso now you're already done in one page so let's jump to this quick iso and production iso so for quick ISO, if you click, you need to do selection. Or you select first and then you click quick ISO. While for the production ISO, is something related to object that already have the line number. So what if, if I want to combine between a different line number? So I can use quick ISO by select that item. But that one, you need to consider on the project setup. You need to check on your project setup is that your drawing will be automatic, automatically speed by line number or not. So in this case, if I want to do line number, this line number, so the most easiest way, so just click once, right click, add to selection, connected line number. So it will only select the connected line number for this piping. Okay, it will select only that thing. So if I want to do isolation, so I just right click, go isolate, isolate object, it will hide others. So in this case, if I only want to focus on this object, right? So you just need to use 
add to selection, they will have a lot more option. Okay, you just use connected line number for something that probably that connect with the current selection. The entire line number, in case they will have other object in different location using the same line number, you want to double check, spool number or all connected one. So for this case, if I want to create a uh, what we call the isometric, so if I use the quick ISO, so this line number will be 0, 1, 0, 2, 0. Okay, if I use the quick ISO, I need to do selection, click on quick ISO. So they will have option later, I will explain, hit create. Okay, it will create everything using quick ISO setting. Okay, using quick ISO setting. So they will have major difference on the quick ISO and production ISO in terms of the title block. Okay, so in this case, they already generate one drawing. So this will be the drawing. So as you can see here, the drawing number will be user defined line if you are using the quick ISO. While when I go to here and then I try to use a production ISO, which is this one is a 1020, hit create. Okay, using the same style. Okay, it will give a different method of the title block in uh, the title block attribute it will give the better result okay let's wait for a while okay done so this drawing already changed to 1020 okay so in this step area you also can see that this one is a user defined this one while well, for this one using the production iso it become as a 1020 okay so next for the setting so in case I want to do something like this, I, I can go to here. Okay, in case production ISO, hit. You can change the style where choose, uh, you just can choose any style that you prefer to from here. So they will have one button, save the drawing to the ISO. Normally it will save into the folder that your, the, your project folder. If you want directly create the DWF, you just can hit here. Override if existing, or you want to add the revision number, you just can hit this button. So when you hit on this advanced button, you can see that you are able to do more setting, more advanced setting for the isometric. So you can directly export the information that you want. For example, the bow, you want to export to here. So the reason why the cut piece spool well does not appear are because we are using the check A2. If you are if you are using a different uh, style, okay, they will have possibility to turn on the, the information that you can export. Okay, for example, I change to the spool A3, hit advance. Okay, so they will have two more information that I can add here. Right, so this to export, you can also choose the Excel format. So Normally, the setting will be by default already set up in the plan 3D. But if you want to override the setting, you can just change here. So split ISO when properties change, what kind of information change? For example, I want to, when the spec change, it will split into a different paper. When the line number change, it will split into a different paper. So if I want to make it the drawing split automatically, then you can also make it something like this. Okay, but if you antique, they will still have possibility that your drawing will be in a different split drawing. Okay, your ISO will become in a split drawing. Okay, so to reduce that thing, so you can go to here and try to make it less. Hit OK and try to regenerate again. So that's how, that will be the topics that I want to share for today for how to create uh, isometric in plan 3D. All right, so see you in.